Hi students, how are you? Right, so today our topic is magnetic effects of electric current. What is meant by magnetic effects of electric current? See here, current carrying wire produces magnetic field around itself. In order to understand this topic, just remember these three. If you remember these three, then it is very easy for you. So what are these? The first one is wire. The second one is magnetic compass. The third one is magnetic field. You remember these three words. Magnetic field is denoted by B. Simply, next time, if any place magnetic field is there, simply I will write B. For current, I will write I. And this is magnetic compass. Right? Can shall we enter into the class? Right. Come on. See here, current and magnetism. Up to 1800 century, current and magnetism are things that they are two different chapters. But in 1820, that means in 18th century, current and magnetism are two different chapters. There is no relationship between them. So all the scientists are believed that current chapter is different and magnetism is different. But in 1820, one fellow, his name is Orested, he find the, he given the, he discovered the relationship between current and magnetism. That relationship we can call as electromagnetism. That means current and magnetism are not different chapters. They are related with each other. So that is only our chapter. That means current and magnetism are related to with each other. Right? First of all, in order to understand this topic, we have to know one thing. CMM. It is a magnet. Bar magnet. So around the bar magnet, already you know, there is a magnetic field. Around the bar magnet, magnetic field is there. We want to test the magnetic field. In order to test the magnetic field, we need a compass needle. So place the compass needle here. The north pole of the needle deflects. See here, place here. The north pole of the needle deflects. Place here, the north pole of the needle deflects. Place here, the north pole of the needle deflects. Place here, the north pole of the needle deflects. Place here, the north pole of the needle deflects. See here, and join all these points. See here, join all these points. See here. If you extend this line inside, see here. See here, this is, these lines represents, resembles the magnetic field lines. That means outside the magnet, the magnetic field lines are north to south. Inside the magnet, the magnetic field lines are south to north. Actually, compass has two poles. For according to our understanding purpose, simply I run one pole only north pole. But we cannot separate the poles. See here, in which direction, in which direction the north pole, see here, N means north. The north pole of compass needle. The north pole of compass needle. If north pole of compass needle deflects, definitely magnetic field is there. This is the logic. He would for us. If north pole, if north pole of magnetic compass needle deflects, magnetic field is there. At that point, magnetic field is there. Next one, in which direction? See, I am writing here. In which direction north pole of needle deflects? Needle deflects. In which direction north pole of needle deflects? That is the direction of that is the direction of magnetic field at that point. So this is the key. Okay? Right, again I am 
sorry, sorry, sorry for this. I am writing here. In which direction north pole of needle north pole of needle deflects deflects that is the direction of that is the direction of magnetic field at that point so here this is very very important first of all if magnetic compass needle deflects at that place magnetic field is there next one in which direction north pole of needle deflects that is the direction of magnetic field at that point see here Anna. suppose this is north this is south this is the magnetic compass needle so place here this is north so the north pole of bar magnet repels the north of the needle so the north pole of a needle deflects in this direction so it is deflecting in this direction it is deflecting so this is the direction of magnetic field and place here place here see here this is not it repels not so north pole again deflecting like this so this is the direction of magnetic field so in which direction north pole of needle deflects that is the direction of magnetic field at that point so this is the introduction for a magnetic field if compass needle deflects magnetic field is there in which direction compass needle deflects that is the direction of magnetic field at that point right right next see here over a stir and one day see here and is a why in this way a current is flowing through this way simply he placed a magnetic compass needle see it so this is a magnetic compass needle so he placed like a magnetic compass needle near the wire then he observed that the needle is deflecting the needle is deflecting That means if current is passing through wire near the wire, the magnetic needle is deflecting. Then that means suppose if there is no current in the wire, no deflection, no deflection, no deflection, no deflection means no magnetic field. Here, no current, no deflection in the magnetic compass, no deflection in the magnetic compass means no magnetic field. Next is here, suppose current is there, no current is passing through it. Then he observed that there is a deflection is there. Which, which one is deflecting here? North pole, remember, the north pole of compass needle is deflecting. That means there is a magnetic field. See here, if current flows through the wire, there is a deflection of compass needle. If compass needle deflects, at that point, magnetic field is there. So this is the simple explanation of Orester's experiment. So Orester continued his experiment. How he continued means he changed the direction of current. He changed the position of magnetic compass needle. So we will explain it step by step. Right, first to see here. Uh, see here. Uh, suppose I am writing here. Suppose we know very well. This is north. This is south. Right side. For right side of this one, this is east. Left side of this one, west. Suppose. See here, this is north, this is north. See here, right side of this one, this is east, this is west. Now see here, current is flowing through wire from south to north. From south to north. Then he placed a magnetic compass here. The north pole of magnetic compass will is deflecting, is deflecting in this direction. 
towards the magnetic compass wheel is deflecting towards west side towards west side see here that means if current is flowing through a from south to north the direction of magnetic field is towards west so by simplifying this one he given a word that is slow 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 means s means south n means north o means over over the compass over the compass w means west so remember slow slow word s n o w slow s means south n means north o means over the compass w means west right that means when current flows south to north see here current is flowing south to north when current flows south to north the wire is placed over the compass wire is placed here wire is placed over the compass wire is placed over the compass then the needle deflects towards west the magnetic compass will de deflect towards west that means magnetic field is towards west that means when current flows from south to north wire is placed over the compass then the needle deflects towards west so by using this rule we can easily find the direction of deflection of needle if you know the direction of deflection of needle it is very easy for us to find the direction of magnetic field that means when current is flowing through by compass needle is deflecting means here here what is there magnetic field is there that means when current flows through by around that wire magnetic field is there see here current carrying wire this wire is carrying current produces magnetic field around itself so when current carrying wire produces magnetic field around itself that is nothing but our chapter name magnetic effects of electrical current right if you change the direction of current if you change the direction of current direction of magnetic field will change next if you change the position of a compass direction of magnetic field change see here so to understand that uh, see here south to north these two are related to these two are see here these two are related to y in y current direction current direction next this is this word is related to position of y position of y a last one is related to needle that means in which direction it will deflect that is that means here first south north means current is flowing south to north position of y over the compass here position of y over the compass needle deflects towards west that means direction of magnetic field is towards west now see here see here south use this concept this is our basic south north okay next right here for this uh, south this right side east here west now see here i am placing compass needle here compass needle okay north south right now see here here current is flowing south to no i am changing i reverse the direction of current if direction of current is reversed north to south north to south then right first right n s already i said first two words are current in y next here position of y the wire is over the compass so ns 
the wire is over the compass the wire is over the compass so if if current is south to north the will deflect towards west if you reverse the direction of current the compass will deflect also reverses that means this is towards this is towards east east that means north to south means for these two words are current in y north to south o means position of y o means position of y position of y position of y that means y is o means over o means over y is over the compass over the compass e e means needle deflection needle deflection needle deflects towards east right now see here i'm writing here s n o w this is the rule to find the direction of magnetic field see here snow rule s means what south n means what north o means over the compass over the compass w means west that means first two are direction of current in y this is position of position of y and last one is for needle okay right here i am drawing here south north south north magnetic compass next one again north south magnetic compass see here again north south here this is magnetic compass north south magnetic compass north south magnetic compass see here now you know only this rule if you remember this one we can find the direction of magnetic field in all cases it is very easy only remember this one see here south sn sn means current is flowing through y from south to north see here south to north south to north wire is placed that means here wire is placed over the compass over the compass see here over the compass see here wire is placed over the compass o means what over the compass right then needle deflects towards this is this needle deflects towards west the direction of magnetic field is towards west so this is the case now here see here here suppose current is flowing from north to south Y is placed over the compass. That means this position is not changing. O position is not changing. See here, Y is placed over the compass. O place is not changing. So write O in the place of O. O. Current is flowing from north to south. So initially north to south. See here, if current flows south to north, then it will deflect towards west. Remember this one. Then it will deflect towards west. Here, the direction of current is reversing. so the needle direction also reverse so it is east it is east see here that means if current direction reverse if current direction reverse the direction of see here direction of if current direction reverse direction of deflection is also reverse now here come here here current is 
south to north okay right south to north sn but here is here why we is placed below the compass here not o below the compass so b that is b below the compass so current is south to north but why we is placed below the compass see here here wire is placed below the compass below the compass so in the place of go b see here current direction is same south to north here also south to north in the place of go here b that means position of wire is changed position of wire is changed now the direction see here the needle deflects towards west the needle deflects towards west see here here current is south to north here also current is south to north but here needle deflects towards west here needle deflects towards towards sorry the needle deflects towards east 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 the needle deflects towards east towards east so towards east change this is east this is east so current direction is same south to north here also south to north but here needle deflects towards west here needle deflects towards east because here position is changed in the place of o here b is the position is changed next is here north to south current flow through wire is north to south the wire is placed below the compass so not o b b if south to north this b b same this b b same but current direction is changed if current direction changes deflection also changes so here is here west so this is the end of the session okay thank you bye